Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World and we are here for the next level of the aquatic event which I am so freaking excited about because I love 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 the aquatic section it just looks fantastic I mean look at this guy so the lepto is going to be the next aquatic dinosaur that we can unlock in the aquatic arena so we're gonna be popping over to try to do that and then there's also the monsters of the deep the clash of sea monsters rages on in the underwater battle arena continuing but this time you don't win the aquatic pack even though I really wish you did because I hear some of you guys were lucky enough to get some legendaries and super rares from the aquatic pack and I would love to try to win it again but we can at least win the lepto and we can win a rare pack from fighting in the monsters of the deep so we're going to be doing that today for sure and then we are also going to be checking out all of our dinos because there's lots of coins to collect so zipping around look at all that come here there we go collecting that and then I've got a few surprises to show you guys because there's been uh, you know a little bit going on behind the scenes like this geyser where the heck did this geyser come from well it came from actually a super rare pack um, or or a rare pack that I won in one of the little like you have eight hours little tournament challenges they do and I won it and I ended up with this geyser thing and I thought that was really cool and I also ended up with a few other market items because I've been getting a lot of market items from my random packs lately so we'll look at those in just a second and we'll check out what um, level we should be on because I want to continue to try to advance my gosh it's getting a little crowded in here I'm gonna need to like start expanding again we do have some expansions we can start doing but I'm gonna save that for just a minute let's go ahead and we are gonna collect up our free mystery pack all right we got some money some DNA the biologist again to work with got a little bit of food what does she want today Evolve any Manchasaurus to reach level 11. Um, uh, do I even have, I've got this guy, but that would require having two of the lower level guys. So it's probably not happening today. Probably not. But there is something else we need to collect and I've been saving it from the egg research area. Are you guys ready for this? It's our T-Rex. I haven't pulled him out yet. So here we go. Let's yank him out. Come and join us. Come and join us, my beautiful T-Rex. Look at him. Oh, this is going to be so fun. If having him as a legendary is going to be nearly even just anywhere close to being as fun as it is to have our legendary aquatic dino, then this is going to be fantastic. And I'm actually going to scooch um, our Dilophosaurus. Come here, little guy. You're going to come live over next to the amphibians for a little bit. And I'm going to move our T-Rex over here because I'm hoping he'll be close enough. Darn, he's not close enough. Okay, well, I'm going to move him. All right, come on, come on. And we're gonna scooch the T-Rex over here then for just a second. And Allosaurus, you are going to move over here. Eh, 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 eh. Don't fuss with me, there you go. And we're gonna move the T-Rex down by the geyser and by all of these statues and fountains because that should majorly boost like how many coins we'll get from him. But he doesn't make like any coins right now because he needs fed. So let's come in and feed our T-Rex. Look at him, the glorious beast he is. You are so awesome looking. Hopefully he'll be like a really great fighter. Already I can see that he is going to outstrip our lowest level carnivore. So, or yeah, or our highest level carnivore. Because that would be our Carnotaurus. And the number of attack that he can do is 113 for almost 300 health. And now, whoops, now we have got for 400 health, uh, 166 at just level 10. So we'll have to think about using our DNA points to maybe getting our T-Rex leveled up. So let me know what you guys think about that. We've also got another little guy, whoops, not the T-Rex, come on. We've got another little guy hiding in here in our hatchery. So let's go ahead. Hi, Gulong. You can go and join your mini, mini brothers and sisters because I've got quite a few of you guys. And in the market, this is the super rare that I won last night. Our Raja over here, and we're gonna put him to go ahead and start hatching. So he's gonna stay over there. Hopefully that'll, that'll go well. And then we've got our aquatic zone. We actually do already have one of today's wonderful winnings. Oh, so this is the guy that you can win from today's event. And if we get another one, I think we might keep two of them for a little while. Look at the fish swim in the background and all the coral pieces. That's so cool. Hello, buddy. Hello, you're amazing. Oh, I'm in love with this guy. I am so in love with this guy. Look at the coral reef behind him. This, this is why I love aquatic section. I wish they had done it kind of like the old Jurassic War or Jurassic Park Builder 
because I would have loved being able to be underwater and put all the underwater decorations down again. But we've got him and we've got <laughs> our donkey, our wonderful, powerful donkey. And you can actually see jellyfish in the background, deep sea jellyfish, caverns, where he's at because he's considered to be at a different level. Look at all the fish swimming in the background there. He's considered to be at a different level of the aquatic zone. So you can see we've got reef over here. In fact, I think if we go over to the market, it will actually differentiate now between the different ones. So you've got surface, you've got reef, caves, and hybrids. And hybrids, oh my gosh, no aquatic hybrids discovered yet. But we have one cave guy, there's a couple other cave guys, and then we've got the reef, um, which we should be unlocking our little friend, the leptos today. And then there's also surface dwellers, like the Mosasaurus, and I can't quite read the names for the other guys, but I'm really excited to try to unlock all of them because if I love anything, it's definitely aquatic zone. So now that all the talking is done and we have introduced our T-Rex and leveled him up so that he's ready to be a tough fighter, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Cross our fingers. I'm really hoping we can get the what lies beneath. So we're gonna dive right into this one today. All right, and we just have to we have to defeat him three times though, don't we? Mm, so who are we gonna pick? Um, we want probably want some nice strong carnivores and herbivores here. So I have a feeling we're gonna be using lots of our bucks again today, <laughs> and that is just fine. So let's just go ahead, and I'm going to use maybe our Stegosaurus. Let's just, let's, let, you know what, we're just, mm, well, we're just going to try this out first. And I have a feeling I'm just going to use, like, a ton of my bucks to bring everybody back in for battle. Because I'm serious about wanting to just make this, like, speed along and be able to dive into the waters with our new Lepto. Alright, Dino Swap, that's what I thought. Coward, come back and face my Carnotaurus. I chose the Carnotaurus because, like, I don't think he'll cost as many, as many, uh, bucks to bring back. Oh, let's just take him out. All right, down you go, little guy. Oh, apparently you weren't defending at all. All right, shoo. Shoo. Bring back the, the weakened Triceratops. Hello, Tracy look like. Are you just gonna block? Nope, you're gonna swap again. Really? Um, well, we'll try this again. Oh, you weren't even trying to block. Well, geez, now I feel silly for having thrown Tracy into this. She's like, what am I going to do? And our Stegosaurus Stacy is just like, not even going to have to enter battle. All right. So you've got four block, huh? All right, we'll get you. We will get you yet. I'm just going to save up. I might block once just in case she decides to be like super aggressive. Even though I don't think she'd do anything. All right, there we go. Everybody's just kind of facing off. And we should be able to take her down now. All right, come on. Well, I definitely over-prepared with the dinosaurs. I could have used some lower level guys, but that's just because I'm so eager. I just want to see my lepto swimming in my little aquatic park. All right, rawr, rawr, good job, good job. All right, and let's pop over. So that's a good victory, nice strong victory. Got our DNA points, awesome. Moving into the next section, and it's going to be this time some pretty strong carnivores and one let's see so i'm gonna put t-rex out there and then i'm gonna throw out a coolie and is that gonna be good enough i think that's gonna be good enough all right let's dive in hopefully that'll be okay it's just gonna swap like as soon as it sees us it's like crap that's a t-rex can we at least land like one good hit on it yep i at least wanted to like weaken it before it swaps out, because it's going to swap. Boom. Yep. That's what I thought. Swap out to an Allosaurus. That's a really cool looking Allosaurus, though. Um, and you know what? We're just going to save up a couple... A couple attack. Because actually, I think the... Well, with the bonus, the attack should be stronger on our amphibians. And let's jump over to the coolie. And then let's just try... Let's just throw everything we've got at him in case he's blocking. Yay! Almost got him! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, he really is cool looking though. I like his leopard prints. Dang it! He's gonna knock out my poor little... I'm sorry, my little salamander, sweetheart. My little toothy salamander. Alright, well, what a little jerk. Alright, well, you can just get out of here, because I think you only have, like, one... One little... Yep, no blocks. Boom. You're gone. 
And so we pretty much just have this one guy, the Titano Titan, to take down. He's really interesting looking. <laughs> I know this is going to sound kind of random, but he reminds me of something from like Ninja Turtles. And I know that's really random sounding, but that's just, I look at him and I think Ninja Turtles. I'm going to go ahead and swap. Even though actually attack would have been stronger just staying with my T-Rex, wouldn't it? Then even if he's blocking, I totally didn't overkill. All right. I'm just overkilling everything. I got to get used to this newfound legendary power and start counting the blocks and attacks again because I'm just too excited to focus. <laughs> oh dear. All right, you. We won't put up with that nonsense. That's not how we play around here. Oh crap. Really? He's like, I'm going to defend myself. See, this is what's going to happen. I wasn't paying attention. It's going to turn into like some sort of miserable face off. But I just need to land like one blow. So if they're even, yep, that's all I needed. Just one blow, boom. All right, there we go. Wonderful. Now we just have one more battle and I'm actually going to pay attention this time and not just like get excited and look at all the designs and think they remind me of Teenage Ninja Turtles. All right, what lies beneath? Whew. All right, now we need to take out, there's gonna be a pretty strong amphibian here, herbivore, and we're going to have, see, so maybe some strong herbivores. Okay, Carnotaurus or carnivores. Hmm. Tracy and, dang, they're, they're pretty strong. This could be a little interesting. <laughs> I think we might need Tracy. Do I have any? Uh, this one really might be a little bit interesting. All right, let's line it up like this. And we're just gonna have to cross our fingers that we'll be able to handle this. I might have to raise up some levels. All right, hang in there, everybody. We're gonna need to save up some points. They're gonna do Dino Swap. Pretty much as soon as they have the ability to. Yep, there they go. Dino swap. Swapping out to a new one. And he's attacking, and he's got really strong attacks, so we really can't put up with this. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Um, and even if we attacked with everything we've got, I don't think we could do anything just now. Uh, I think the only option, what option is to maybe save the points and pass the buck on to the next fighter. I think that's all we can really hope for at this point. Oh, you're hanging in there, Tracy. Tracy, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it because you're gonna have hopefully given us the ability to make it easy for everybody else to win the next battles. So, oh, come on, Tracy. We're so close to getting that lepto. All right, all right, and we're gonna store away those points again. Try to attack. And try to take you down. At least we're making you pretty weak. He's pretty cool looking. Sarkasukas, oh yes, he's wasting all of the points. Wasted all of the points. Fantastic. That's going to be helpful, I really hope. And now we just need to do like one attack. And save the rest of the points. And do a bunch of blocks. There we go. All right, come on, come on, come on. This is gonna be really scary. Ah, oh, don't, don't kill us. All right, what are you gonna do? All right, so you were saving three blocks, I think. So I hope we have enough. Let's pop over here. And I hope the T-Rex can just like clean this up now. So I think they were saving three blocks. So we're going to need to do, I think five? Five attack? I'm worried. That may not be enough, so I'm going to add a sixth, because <laughs> I, I really want to make sure we get this done. Alright. Boom. Yeah, that was a little bit overkill. That may have thrown the game, because this guy is pretty darn strong. But we're going to do what we can. He's probably just going to go on all-out attack. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. I needed that T-Rex. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um... Please. <laughs> All right, come on, you can do this. Yes! <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting that it like, stacks into combos and you get a little bit more of a boost sometimes. Much better. All right, I wanna see my lepto. Come to me, my dear. 
You're gonna be awesome looking. Yes, there's our pack. Beautiful, sparkly, I love the blue sparkles. Totally into that. More DNA, tons more money, more food, and there we go, another super rare. Another super rare, and now we can actually purchase our super rare. So let's take a quick peek at that really quickly. So that'll be in, not amphibians, that'll be in the aquarium. We can now hatch them, and we can now search for a new one. So can we hatch you? I'm gonna go ahead, activate the unoccupied one, keep you guys hatching. And then let's see, aquatic market. So this one would be 2,150 points to be able to go ahead and grow. Um, am I gonna speed you up? I don't know if I'm gonna speed them up. Let's go ahead and check what, whoops, that's, I'm going in all the wrong places. Let's go ahead and check what the battle in the Monsters of the Deep would be like. Very easy, I think. So let's just go, we'll let this little guy come in. We've got some super rares. Hello, Deco Saurus. It's been a while. You're adorable. Apparently I'm weak to you. Crap. <laughs> this isn't going to be as easy and adorable as I thought after all. Whoops. This was a mistake. I didn't realize that they had actual like stats that would go against each other. I think this is going to be a short battle. This doesn't bode well. This just doesn't bode well at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoops. If we can survive this, then maybe I'll be able to take him out. Maybe. I think he's defending a lot, but let's just see what we can do. Grr. I think we won! Thank goodness! <laughs> okay, so it turns out that whole cool surface reef, uh, like cave thing that I was showing you guys, apparently that actually has some stat effects and that went over my head until this point. So let's go ahead and look at that. So the cave creatures are strong against the reef creatures and the reef creatures are strong against the surface creatures. And right now we would be fighting some reef creatures. So we should use this guy right here because he's gonna be strong against them. But we need to watch out. Okay, so we have just learned something. I had no idea that it was going to be like that. All right, wow. Yeah, we've got a strong, strong boost against these guys. Two little nibbles and they're going down. Sorry about that little guy. He's like, grr, I'm gonna go out with everything I've got. All 47 damage, grr. All right, well that kind of opened up the path so we can just take him out. He's gone. Donkey, you're awesome. I just love aquatic battles. They just look so freaking cool. <sighs> I, that's that's what would drag me back into Jurassic World for sure is that I am just such a sucker for these aquatic battles All right, even if you're blocking you're you're kind of doomed All right, So you're going down little lepto Now I think we're gonna run into a surface creature who might be strong against the donkey next Because now we've had cave we've had reef So I assume surface is going to be the next in the lineup of fights and the good news is the lepto is strong against surface fighters so we've got more DNA points. We've got a lot of DNA points. I'm kind of leaning towards wanting to work more on, um, really wanting to work more on the Monsters of the Deep. But if you guys think we should be using the DNA points to maybe like work on our Triceratops, work on some of the other dinosaurs, then let me know because we do need our land-based like animals in order to fight to unlock the new aquatic animals. So there is that. All right. And we now have... Yeah, we've got a cave, and then we've got a bunch of reefs. So we're just gonna bring back, I think, the donkey. I think he'll be enough. I think he'll be enough to be able to win this. So let's just put our donkey out there, see what he can do. Um, You know what, let's put both of them out there. I wanna make sure we can win this. So let's see, but cave is gonna be strong against reef. So that's not gonna be, you'll be our backup, little Lepto, just in case. <laughs> just in case everything goes south, Lepto, Lepto can be there to be like, all right, I got this. All right, so we just kinda need to take this guy out. I think we can do that with one bite. Man, we didn't need backup. I hadn't realized how low his HP was. Fighting with a legendary is totally different. It makes this a completely different game. It kind of takes my breath away every time because I'm still not used to it. So maybe we should work on leveling up the T-Rex. Hmm, but would that just make like the battles harder? So then I'm still going to be so horrible at like the random battles? Ah, questions. All right, can we get you? Nope, he was blocking. Fudge. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna finish this aquatic battle off. 
All right. Oh, look at his fierce attack. Oh my gosh. How are we going to survive that? Oh dear. Oh, so that means he's blocking once. So we'll just go ahead. Out you go. Shoo. Shoo, shoo. I did, really didn't need any help. I feel kind of silly for spending the bucks on getting our little lepto ready. But I just got kind of nervous. It was like, well, what happens if he does go down? All right. So this guy is trying to throw everything he's got in it. But it's like attacking a tank. Like, it's really not going to help. All right. And this is a little overkill. But, you know, got to let Donkey stretch his fins. And down we go. Good job, Donkey. I love aquatic battles. I really love them. All right. So he's pretty content. He's doing good. He's swimming around. And now we are going to open up our rare pack. So let us see what is hiding inside. So many packs today. Food, DNA, a wooden bridge. Nice. Oh, and a new guy. Hi, little guy. Opie. Oh, look at you. So we have just like been able to gather up lots of new creatures. Our little egg chamber is so busy with some nice rares. The park is starting to look great. We've got lots of choices to be able to really start evolving everybody. I need more suggestions on what we should spend all the DNA points that we're hoarding on. And look at you. You're pretty awesome. We've got more rares. I've got more items to put down. We have the Cloud9 balloon ride. We've got another power generator, a wooden bridge. Really cool. We've got more aquatic guys. Ah, oh, that is just so fun. I can't wait for the next battle in a couple days. That'll be awesome. And yeah, so next up we'll have to start working on the missions again, completing the battle stages. We'll be going up against an Ankylosaurus. Um, so it looks like, let me see. Looks like we'll work on getting our T-Rex and I really need a strong amphibian. So I'm beginning to think we should probably go ahead and work on getting our Kuliosuchus completely leveled up so that it'll be able to be at like level 40 and take out any of the really strong carnivores that we go up against. So I think that would be a good idea. In fact, I'm going to go ahead. Ah, uh, Kuliosaurus, we're going to evolve you. We're going to start that. I think that's the right choice to make in this situation. And I will see you guys next time. I cannot wait for the next installment of the Aquatic Battle. So that'll probably be when we pop back over here. Or maybe it'll be when we work on the Ankylosaurus mission. But either way, I'm really happy with as time goes on, we're starting to make like our, our animals stronger. And we're actually starting to have some progress that doesn't just feel like you have to play to win. So it makes me feel pretty happy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.